Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, the editor of Woodson Wave Report and one of Timer Digest top ranked market timers. While I've been trading for over 30 plus years, we recently started our day trading service and we're in our third year. You can see our performance there. We've outperformed the S&P and we've gotten off to a great start here in 2020. So while we are been around for a while we're relatively new to YouTube so we appreciate if you hit that subscribe button don't forget the reminder bell and pound that like button we appreciate you watching our videos today we're gonna talk about the S&P 500 and we're gonna get into Tesla let's start with a overall big picture uh, this is the February all-time high it's a weekly chart of the S&P. You can see the March 23rd low and we have all but completed or completed five waves up. We can see from our daily view here we've got wave one up, wave two, wave three just surpassed the Fibonacci 1.618 multiple there, wave four down. Five would gain equality at 34.48. We gave this in another to uh, target to our short-term subscribers who get our day trades every day but well, we can look a little more closely at this five waves up also on our uh, on our one minute chart which we day traded from we had a target of 33.94 and as you can see we had a one up a two down a three up a four down and a five up Fibonacci perfection Elliott wave perfection and then what we saw from today's new all-time high was a five wave decline. We haven't marked, well, we can't mark it here. We may as well, huh? Just to help everyone out, we got a, a one down, a two up, a three down, four up, and a five. So, what we should see at a minimum is five waves down, and then a move up, and then another five waves down. So, the make or break for this all time high is the all time high of 33.94 any move above here and we should look for something going to 3448 that's where five gains perfect equality with one if not then we expect that this 3394 high will hold and we'll see another five wave decline either equal to this one or a 1.6 multiple to it and we can get that target right here let's get the extension if this is one down and that is two up then our Fibonacci equality will come in at 3369 right here and our 1.618 will be 3353 as you can see so to, as exciting as today was tomorrow should be more exciting because we'll see if this uh, high today holds if not we're looking for that move up into the 3448 area. If it does hold, then we're looking to move down to our Fibonacci targets. Okay, and let's get on with uh, our analysis of Tesla. Let's find where did Tesla go, guys? Russell Gold. Co there it is. Tesla. All right, and here's the uh, daily chart of Tesla. And this is the uh, March lows. And as you can see, we can count uh, waves one up, two down, three up, four down, and five. We had a target here of 1929. And the market hit 1923. However, when we look really close at this, this five looks like, and this is the daily chart, that it's probably one, two, and three. We may see a fourth wave pullback and a little higher fifth wave so while it came within a mere few points of our ideal target let's tear that apart and see if we can uh, find a fifth wave let me get down to uh, hourly chart from that that was August 11th high let's pull this apart a little bit and get our uh, Fibonacci tools out here so this looks like uh, one two three four five up into there and then a decline so let's see if we can get some uh, targets not retracement so we're going to want to do an extension here guys all right start from that August 11th low one two and that'll be up to five there 
and that would put three there. One, two, three, four, five. So we may to get five equal to one. We may see just a, a little higher target here. How about twenty-one, twenty-eight? Wouldn't that be something? Okay, so while it hit within a few points of our ideal target, there's still room for a fifth wave on this. We can count this as a one, two, and a three, maybe a four. Actually, this should pull back a little bit. Let's back up. I regress. Let's get a little Fibonacci retracement. We'll remove this guy. And we'll call this one, two, three, four, five. So that would be wave three. Let's get a retracement on that guy right there. So we should see a four pull down into one of these areas. Ideally, the 382 is 1801, 1760, and then 1719. Those are the pretty common areas to hit. And then uh, we'll get a fifth wave high over there. So let's see if this plays out. See if this uh, top here is indeed wave three. We get a fourth wave decline. Once we do, we'll uh, update on the uh, target for the fifth wave for Tesla. Okay, thank you again, everyone, for watching our videos. Reminder to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll talk to you next time. Take care.